Hello and welcome to this coding lesson on loading the data. In our previous lessons, we learned how to extract and transform the data using various operations. The final step in the ETL process is to load the data into a data warehouse or a database. We will learn how to do so by using the SQLite library in Python. We can install the SQLite library using the Python package manager by using the following command. I've already installed it on my system, so you can go ahead and run this line of code to install it on your coding environment. After installing the library, we can now go ahead and import it in Python. So I'll run this line of code to import the SQLite library in Python. Now, in order to create the database, we will first need to open a connection using the connect function of the SQLite module. The following line of code opens up a connection to the SQLite database file named weather data. And if the file does not exist, it will create a new database file in the given path and open a new connection to it. So let's go ahead and run this line of code to create a new database file. Now, we know that data is stored in the form of a table in SQL. So in order to create a table, we will be using the execute function with the SQL command create. We will be creating a new table named as weather with the following columns and its data types. We will be using the try except block along with the finally block to finally close the database connection. So let's go ahead and run these lines of code. So after the weather data table has been created, we will now get the values of the weather data data frame that we created in our previous lesson as a list to insert them into the database. So let's go ahead and run this line of code to convert the pandas data frame into a list. Now, in order to insert the data into the database, we will again have to initiate a new connection to the database. We'll do so by using the connect function of the SQLite module. We will then create a cursor from the connection to use it for querying the database. So let's go ahead and run this line of code. Now we will insert the list into the database by using the execute many function along with the SQL command insert. We will again use the try except block along with the finally to finally close the database connection. We will be inserting all of the values of the columns along with the data values in the weather data list. So let's go ahead and run these lines of code. So we can see that the data has been inserted successfully, which can be viewed through the DB browser for SQLite. So as we can see, the data has been inserted successfully in the form of a table with all of the columns and data values. Hence, we've successfully loaded our extracted data onto a database, and with this, we conclude our lesson on the ETL process. By the way, this was an introductory lesson of the course Full Stack Data Science. If you want to keep on learning these concepts further, you can click on the link in the description to enroll in the course.